name is Erica Shemwell, and I live in Lehigh, Utah, and I have seven kids. Their names are Landon, Emma, Lily, Sophie, Tanner, Amelia, and Caleb. Mom, can I get me some more cucumbers? Here, Landon, all this goes in the garbage. I love being a mom, and I love spending time with my kids. Be a little difficult yeah. sometimes, and a little trying my patience. Yeah. Welcome to my life. <laughs> What, buddy? Oh, that's so cute. I love that picture. Let me see it. I'm you miss Daddy. Oh, I'm sorry, sweetheart. It's hard missing Daddy, isn't it? My husband, Tony, and I met when we were really young, going to school in Provo, Utah. And once he took me out on a date, we were inseparable after that. We were married for 10 years, and Tony was an excellent dad. Ready, set, go. He loved just to wrestle with the kids. He loved to snuggle with his little princess girls. He was amazing to have as a partner by my side. We wanted a big family. We ended up having seven children together in less than 10 years. Tony just barely turned 23 when he found out he had a brain tumor. <sighs> we're both in school and we we're poor. We we're young and he wanted to do anything in his power to live as long as he could for the kids. Daddy has to take medicine. And what's the medicine doing? Um, making Dad's hair come off. <laughs> Should we show what we did on the back of Dad's head? Yes. Can you we still wrote see it? D A D. I was split. I wanted to be there and take care of Tony, and I needed to physically and emotionally, but I needed to be there for my kids and, and take care of them physically and emotionally. And, and it puts you in this really hard spot in the middle where you just feel like you're failing, <laughs> just whatever you do. You're, you're not meeting everyone's demands and needs. And, and that was a really, really scary thing. It's just heart-wrenching, you know. Cancer is just ugly. <laughs> I mean, I understand that you know, bad things happen to good people. And I've definitely been handed hard things, just like anybody else. Tony died three years ago. And when he died, I, I feel like, like my heart was ripped out of my chest. And I feel like, There was a part of, a big part of me that died with him.